dealing with quite the mess this morning. I just made our bed. There's a huge pile of laundry right here. We've been cleaning out Parker's side of the closet because for Christmas I'm getting him some new clothes. We were like trying to go through all of his clothes and see what to get rid of. He literally had stuff from like middle school, you guys. I'm not even kidding. And we're also kind of getting over like a family sickness. I feel a lot better today. But I have a Zoom meeting in like five minutes. It's 9.03 right now and it's at 9.10. So I'm kind of just like picking up. I'm also going to get a massage today and I did not think about it when I showered. Otherwise, I would have just showered like after because I showered last night. Now I have to shower again after I'm done with my massage because there's gonna be oil like everywhere. So I showered, got a tiny bit ready. I'm also going to a jazz game tonight. I'll explain more about that later because it's kind of a long story. Yeah, here's what we are working with. I need to just like pick some stuff up. We need to put laundry away. We have this huge pile to go through. We have this. That is literally something from middle school. Yeah, I've been going through like all of my jewelry and stuff. So it is a disaster. I'll worry about that later. Okay, so I just got done at my massage. I also don't think that I mentioned we were trying out a new camera today. I did end up ordering a new one because if you guys watched our last vlog quality was nice but sometimes it's like too good you don't want a vlog to be too good of quality and the main problem was that the file sizes were so 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 big for that camera so i need to like see how they are with this camera i should have tested it out before i'm like filming a whole vlog on it but i didn't do that so hopefully i can send everything to my editor like fast but yeah i got a massage and now i actually forgot the camera so i came home but i wanted to film a clip in the car there's something about just like filming in the car i was gonna do it after i got my massage like right after i forgot the camera so i had to come home and get it and it's just nice and peaceful in here i think that's why i like to film in here so much yeah i have a lot of stuff to do today it's 1 but i feel like my brain is just like all over the place because it's christmas i don't have all my stuff organized i don't have all my presents i don't have like anything wrapped i need to go through and just like actually look at everything that i have together and make sure that i have like enough of everything and like good stuff for the girls that's on my mental to-do list and i also need to prep for going out of town because we are going on a trip. We're going to Mexico with our friends JC and Leif, which I'm really excited for. And the girls are staying with my mom. We have never left them, like staying, both of them staying up at my mom's house. We've left Cove up there, I think like once or twice. And one kid is just completely different than two kids. Like two kids literally is twice the amount of work. Like you're doing everything for two people. You're doing everything twice. I know my mom will be fine and she's happy to do it, but I just am like so stressed and nervous about it. Mostly about Lola and just like, them sleeping like cove we've talked about we've been trying to break the habit of us like laying in bed with her all the way until she falls asleep to go to sleep at night so we've been kind of like working on that but i feel like it's a slow process we didn't immediately just be like nope we're never gonna snuggle you ever again and you have to go to bed so we've been kind of like working on that habit but then i think because we've been falling asleep with her for so long she wakes up in the middle of the night and then if no one is there she'll like come find us so most nights she ends up coming to our room and then if we're super tired we'll just be like yeah come get in bed or if we have the energy we meaning parker will go take her back up to her room so i'm like nervous for that if she's like waking up at my mom's house there's also like my step siblings are going to be there so there's only one extra room and the girls like do not sleep well if they're in the same room it's really hard to get them to bed if they're in the same room so i'm trying to figure out like where are we going to put lola we need to take our crib tent thing so it's kind of just like a lot and i'm trying to simplify it and i thought that the trip was short but when you really think about it the trip is actually kind of long because it's four full days that like the girls are gonna be with my mom i'm just like really stressed about it i need to like pack their bags get all of their stuff ready i know they're gonna have fun and be fine but it's just like i literally feel bad they were gonna stay with our nanny and now they're not and i just was like way less stressed about them being in our house and me like paying someone to take care of them versus asking my mom this like huge favor but yeah that is the plan now so i need to get ready for that i'm also going to um the jazz game tonight which i mentioned earlier literally a delivery man is like parked right in front of my house right now and i'm facing the wrong way on the road so he's getting out and just watching me talk to the camera hi thank you so much Let's see what's in here what have i ordered from three people oh wait is this a present that parker got me yes this is a present parker got me so i'm not gonna open that two years ago probably two and a half years ago by now i bought jazz tickets for parker he always was like oh i wish you would like surprise me with jazz tickets and we could go to a game so i bought him tickets and then literally like the next day is when covid stuff went crazy and they canceled every game we never got to go to like this specific jazz game that i got tickets for i also had tickets for lover fest so, like the taylor swift concert and that did not happen either i got an email like a long long time ago it was like oh here's a credit for like your canceled events whatever i got on the other day because i was like i need to like use these credits i need to like do something and it said you have to use your credits within one year of getting the email and i was like what for one everything was still like very shut down within a year of getting that email for two i didn't realize that so i had to go on and like fight their customer service to extend my expiration date for the tickets or for like the 
money that I had and I splurged on both of these events because they were like very big things. It was Lauren's Christmas present. I was trying to get like good seats for Parker. So I got like seats really close to the floor. Basically I had a bunch of credits that I needed to use up and it's actually such a pain because I have to spend the amount of money all in like one transaction for like each code. So I had three codes. I do not know how I spent this much money because it's like kind of embarrassing, but one of them was $2,500 for the Taylor Swift tickets. I got like floor tickets for that too, I think. For that price i must have I don't remember because it was three years ago so i have to spend like basically a lot of money so this is a first world problem but i have to spend a lot of money because my things expire like december 31st so i'm going to a jazz game tonight but i'm going with my friends so i texted them all and it was like who wants to go to a jazz game for free because i have a bunch of credits that i need to use up so i had like three different coupon things one was like 2500 one was like 1300 and one was 1200 but each purchase that i make has to be over that amount for me to be able to like use the thing i can't buy like 500 tickets or something and then and have like the rest of it to use later so yeah it's been a little bit of a pain and i had to literally get on there and like fight their customer service and be like you cannot they were like we're not going to extend your thing sorry like why did you wait so long to reach out and i was like this is so much money you cannot just like not do something you have to give me my credits or a refund or something but anyways i got it figured out i still need to figure out what i'm going to spend the 2500 dollars one on so me and lauren are trying to figure out if there's like a good concert that we want to go to that we like really want to splurge on anyways i'm going to the jazz game tonight and then i'm going to jc and chelsea's what we said show tomorrow which i'm really excited for so that'll be fun so i have like two fun girls night things that i'm going to this week that i'm excited about i need to go inside i just ordered some clothes for my trip for the jazz game for jc's thing and i need to just like open packages get everything organized it's 149 and lola has also been napping for not long enough i think parker put her down at 11 30 she usually goes down to 12 but she's been taking like hour and a half naps only once a day which is not long enough at all every day at like 1 30 i get really stressed out that she's gonna like wake up any minute and it's just like not enough time for me to like get stuff done to only have like an hour and a half nap when cove was on one nap she would nap for like three three and a half hours so i have lola not napping for that long and then also just like another child that like does not take a nap and we try to do quiet time but if parker's home she just wants to hang out with him so anyways yeah that's my life update i'm gonna go inside and get my packages to open okay so before we open packages um me and cole are having a little snack and i actually wanted to open this one because it literally just got here two minutes ago it is from caseify they're sponsoring today's video we always have our code um or our link caseify.com slash asking parker for 15 percent off caseify is the world's most popular tech accessory brand known for their protective case and amazing artist collaborations. These are also a really great gift idea. I always try to like, if I'm buying gifts for friends or family, I like to get something practical because I don't like spending my money on something that I know I'll be used. So I'll either try to find like some kind of experience or something or something that's like actually practical and I know that they are going to use it. So phone cases are a perfect example of that. So Caseify has um, cases with all different levels of protection. So this is one of the ones that I got last month. One of their bounce cases, so you can see the corners are like very, very protective. And then the one I have on my phone case right now is like a little bit smaller. And then these ones don't have any extra bumper on the corner. So they're like a little bit more minimal, but they're super durable. So they sent me just like this clear one. If you just want something like super plain or I always love like the cute printed ones. These are actually my all time favorite ones. So I got a plain one of these and then I got this cute printed one. They have these in like all different colors. They're super slim, super cute. And they have over 2000 prints to choose from. They also have fun new phone straps that you can put on your phone. They have lots of different prints. You can customize them. They have some really awesome artist collaborations. They're made of 65% recycled and a plant-based material. They are made better and they last longer. So again, our link is caseify.com slash Aspen and Parker if you guys want to get 15% off of your new favorite phone case. Brush and you want two ponytails. How's your day? I have shorts. These shorts are my favorite. They're your favorite? Yeah. It does be so the red on the bed. Yeah, you wear my bed. My PJ shirts. And PJ shirts? Yeah. Yeah. With Edward and Marshall Sky. With Everest and Marshall and Sky? How was your day? I was good. It was good? Daddy let me watch one show Bob Joe. He did? Yeah. Oh my gosh, how was it? It was dope. I watched a lot of Bobcat shows. A lot of them? Yeah. Oh. We got two ponytails. Okay, we got two ponytails, so you're ready. Okay, can you bring me my packages? Okay, I actually only have two to open. I thought that the third one was going to be here. It's from... That one's so heavy. So heavy. Oh, okay, bring me the other one. It's it's sure. So we got a package from Camp Rio. This is a cute little Australian brand. This is for you. Do you like it? 
Yeah. You do? Do you want to try it on? No. Oh, okay. Well, they sent us this cute sweater and look, it has matching shorts. <gasps> and look at this. That is a little note for you from Rosie. Oh, Let me see a picture of Rosie. That's Rosie. She lives in Australia. She drew you this letter. Rosie's mom owns this store and she super cute sent us some good stuff look at this is that mine? such cute stuff let's see yeah this one is yours and Let look me feel. You feel? So soft. it is so soft look how cool these are do you love it yeah do you want to try them on do you want to put them on today. not today okay no. guess what they sent matching one for yoga okay then we also got some clothes <gasps> We got some clothes for mom. Wait, I do have another package somewhere. Okay, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Princess Polly. Whenever I order from them, I usually know that I'm going to probably like return half of it. But if I'm placing an order, like to kind of go overboard knowing that I'm not gonna keep everything. So I got this cute dress, just black. I know I never wear black, but this was really cute on the model. And then I got just a pair of jeans. I've been looking for like a good pair of jeans that I wanna wear all the time that like fits perfect. And I do feel like somewhere like Princess Polly, even though these are like nice, I feel like these places don't always have, they're so soft. They don't always have jeans that like fit me really good. I feel like I need a more like, I literally feel like I need a more expensive pair because I feel like they just fit better for some reason. I feel like these are more like generic, like sizing and fit and stuff. So I got them to try, but we will see. I also got this cute little flower dress that I thought would be cute to wear with just like a white button down over it. I got these shoes. I did not realize they were really high, so I might return those, but I wanted some like slip on shoes to the beach. And then I got these glasses. You think my glasses are cute? These are kind of small. Are these cute? Do I look cool? <laughs> Do you want to try them on? Oh, dude. Ooh, these are very fancy. I got these boots. I tried to branch out and get some like different stuff because I feel like I get very stuck in like literally only wearing sweatpants and stuff that are comfy like I'm literally wearing right now. So I got this cute bag. I don't usually take purses this small out. Well, I do if I'm like going somewhere like without the girls or whatever. Um, so I have a white one that I actually use kind of a lot, but I wanted to get a black one too. Brown dress, which is what I might wear tonight. I also got this sweater. Okay, well, that's the last item. Actually, I do have one more box. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, I opened this already. I haven't tried any of it on yet. Excuse me, Mama. But I got a couple things from Beginning Boutique, which I have not ordered from before. I got two pairs of white pants, even though I have literally 1,000 pairs of white pants, but you just can't have too many. They're such a good staple. So these ones, I actually saw somebody wearing on Instagram and this is what I wanted to order. They're like not ribbed, but they're really soft. And then these ones are ribbed. So similar, but different. Okay, this cute top. So I need to try all this on. I've been trying to like, if I order something, I try it on and really make sure that I'm like literally 100% obsessed with every single thing, which seems like no doubt. But I feel like sometimes when you order and you get something and you're like, oh yeah, it's cute. And then you don't return it. And then you just like never end up wearing it. I've been trying to make sure that I don't do that. Like if something's slightly itchy or like fits slightly weird. <laughs> Yeah, see like this is cute, but it's like slightly itchy. So I'm like, will I actually wear this? Um, I got this dress. This is really soft. I also don't usually wear a lot of like tight stuff. I feel like I like to have everything be like oversized. That's my haul. Now I have a giant mess to clean up and I always just get so panicked around this time. Like I said, Lola's gonna wake up and I'm not ready for her to wake up because I did not get enough stuff done. Okay, so putting away the girls' laundry. Lola is still sleeping, luckily. Um, so I'm gonna pack Hove stuff, and we're not going for a few days, but I should have enough clothes and be fine for me to like pack now. Um, especially now that everything is clean. So I have these backpacks from Stony Clover. They're so cute. They say their names on them. The things that I'm not gonna pack yet because we're not going yet, but the things I'm gonna bring for them. This camera is also like crooked. That good. I also do have it on the auto ISO, which is like the auto lighting adjust. And I've mentioned before on our other camera, we never use that setting because I feel like it's always too dark. But with this camera, I'm trying it out and I feel like it's kind of doing a better job, but we'll see. We'll see how I like this footage and everything like once I import it. But things that I'm going to bring, sleep stuff. I'm going to bring Lola a pack and play. I'm going to bring her sleep sack. I'm going to bring her sound machine. I'm also going to bring Cove's sound machine. Cove doesn't need anything for bed other than um, her sound machine. And I'm also going to bring the 
what's it called the tent that goes over the packing plate what is that called the slumber pod because i don't know where lola's gonna sleep i'm gonna have cove sleep in my mom's guest room and then because i have the tent for lola i feel like we can kind of put her anywhere my mom has a little like alcove thing kind of like a little just like a little space where not a lot of people go so i feel like maybe we could put lola's pack and play there with the crib tent and the sound machine and she would be okay and the kids just need to know that like after lola's in bed you have to be a little bit quiet downstairs so i'm gonna bring those things for lola i'm also gonna bring her high chair maybe a couple of her plates she doesn't really need those i don't want to bring things that i don't absolutely have to have lola's plates stick to her high chair and they make it a lot easier but if i don't usually i can just like put her food on her high chair and it's fine so i'm trying to think what else obviously my mom needs their car seats but besides the car seats the high chair and like lola's bed i feel like they pretty much just need clothes and lola needs like diapers and stuff one two three yeah three nights so i'm gonna do three pairs of pjs I might do two pairs of pjs i just got these cute pjs from quincy may i'm only gonna do two pjs for cove and i'll do three for lola usually i have them like rewear pjs if we go on a trip because they just don't really get dirty lola's do tend to get dirtier than coves and then i think what i'm gonna do to make it easy for my mom which i also do this to make it easy for myself when we go on trips but i always will coordinate their outfits because it's so much less effort like if they're wearing something matching or coordinating then i don't have to think about like dressing two different people i can just think these two people are gonna wear similar outfits and it makes it easy they have these matching sets this is like a pink floral one this is a gray one with hearts on it so those are coves lola's gray one is right here and then obviously i have to wait until she's awake to go get the stuff in her room but that's only two so i can do this pink stripe one for both of them and i think i only need three because we're going to take them there ready for the day so they'll already be in an outfit but i think that's good i'm not even really going to bring extras because if they need one for some reason my mom can do laundry but especially cove shouldn't need an extra one i might bring like one for lola i have three outfits two pjs i have two pairs of socks for each of them but i never put socks on them i just forget or lola just takes socks off but then i need their toothbrushes which i can't pack yet i do tend to underpack because i'm like oh they're not gonna need it like it's fine she can do laundry whatever but i just feel like it's more like simple when you have less stuff because there's not as many options so there's it's just like less stressful so an outfit for every day and an extra for Lola should be good. That's the packing that I am doing so far today. I'll be making plans, make you understand. All right, so we are picking up the vlog. The next day, shower, got ready, and I am waiting for my hair to dry a little bit. I think I'm gonna use my air wrap. Um, I'll do that in a minute, but I'm trying to figure out what to wear to JC and Chelsea's show tonight. Last night, the jazz game was so much fun. They won at the last second, so it was so fun. It snowed, though, so it took us literally forever to get home, and it was so scary driving home. Um, so I'm hoping that today the roads are, like, better. It hasn't really been snowing today, but I don't know. We went to swim lessons this morning. Yesterday, Cole asked about it. We haven't been in, like, two months, so she brought it up yesterday, and I was like, oh, I'll see if they have anything open tomorrow and they did so we went to swim lessons today what else i cleaned my room up i've made a lot of progress in here cleaned out my closet cleaned up the bathroom and then i have a couple things to still shoot and it's currently 2 36 and i need to leave at 4 because the show is at 6 30 i have to go pick up lauren from work she works like kind of downtown so i have to go pick her up then we're gonna go eat and then go to the show and then drop her back off and then I'm home. I'm trying to figure out what to wear. I also ended up returning like probably half of the stuff that I showed you guys yesterday. I feel like I just have no style and do not know what my style is. And I feel like unless I'm so comfortable in my outfit, I like cannot wear it and cannot function. So I try to only keep the things that I like really, really, really love. But I did keep a couple of the, like more simple pieces like this black dress, which is like cute, comfy, but obviously I don't normally wear stuff like this. Like I don't really love tight stuff. I'm also so simple with my shoes. I returned the boots that I got because they were like too big on my calf so it kind of just looked weird so i have these boots that i could wear these i've had forever they're super nice and just like classic and i like that they're not really a heel but i'm literally scared to put them on because there's probably like spiders or something in here because i haven't worn these in so long so i don't know if that would be like cute or not to just do like the black dress with the black boots i don't know but i also thought about i just got these new pants from by billy so these are so cute and they fit me like perfect but i don't know what, what shirt to wear with them i have like no shirts i have a million pairs of pants that are like all the same like a bunch of light pants but i don't have a lot of tops so i also got this top from them so it's not the same color as the pants but i don't know 
no, I cannot wear those together. I just like have to be comfy. So if I ever try to like be cute or like go out of my comfort zone at all, then I'm just like uncomfortable the whole rest of the day with what I'm wearing. And then I just like do not have fun. Um, I also have a couple things to shoot. I also need to get a tripod. Like this tripod right now is literally like this tall. And I just set it on my TV stand and it's just like way too low. So I need to get like a bigger tripod or something because I don't like shooting from such a low angle. Um, also update on this camera and the file size. Last night I tried to send my footage that I had to my editor and it was literally saying nine hours because the files are so much bigger. So I texted him and I was like, I'm so sorry. This is like not gonna send to you in time. And he was like, oh, you need to just like upgrade your internet. And I was like, wait, how much, like how much footage do your other people usually send you? Because I usually send like maybe 10 gigabytes. And he was like, oh, like 90 is average. And I was trying to send 36 yesterday. So I think I do need to just upgrade my internet. I don't know how I feel about this camera so far. I think I like it, but I'm still trying to like figure out how to use it and everything. We are gonna keep it for a second and we will see. Yeah, so I had to edit this vlog myself today, which is fine, but it just takes like so long and that's why I have an editor to like help me out with those things. Yeah, it's been a very busy day and I still have two things to shoot before I leave. I only have, I have less than an hour and a half before I need to leave. I need to finish this vlog, edit this part, send this in, shoot my other two things if I can. I think I am gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Casetify. We'll have their link down below, casetify.com slash Aspen and Parker if you wanna treat yourself to a new phone case. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.